Hey beautiful friends, today I have brought another beautiful story for you. This story is called as Winter Always Turns to Spring. Okay, so I'm Dr. Runjun Saxena and uh, I'm a dentist. I also love uh, writing stories, drawing stories and narrating stories. So this story is based on a Buddhist principle and this Buddhist principle as I told you is this. Winter always turns to spring. So whenever there is a very hard situation in life, there is always a spring which is awaiting after that. And this story is a story about one such caterpillar. So this innocent caterpillar loves to eat his favorite food which was mulberry leaves. And these are the same mulberries which we get in Mahabaleshwar near Mumbai. So those ripe and tasty and sweet and delicious mulberries was his favorite food and he always was munching mulberry leaves. Then one day a very chatterbox bumblebee came around and said to the caterpillar that do you know the winter is arriving? And Caterpillar said, I don't know what is winter. What does winter mean? She said, winters are something which are snowy and there are snowflakes which keep on falling around and it is very cold. And people, they sometimes even die of cold. It's very, very tough to be in winter and it is the most toughest period of our life. So the bumblebee said this thing, the Caterpillar really got very scared. When it got scared, she said, Bumblebee said that, do you know something even more scary? That the caterpillars never live across the winter. So when the winters are gone, even the caterpillars are also gone. This made the, and then she flew off. This made the caterpillar even wonder what to do. Should I get some more mulberry leaves and pack it in my tree? What should I do if the winter comes? And it kept on thinking and thinking and thinking. And slowly, slowly what happened? The winter started creeping in. When the winter came, the caterpillar was always contemplating. And with all that contemplation and with laziness and with so much of doubt in itself, it turned into a cocoon. And when it turned into a cocoon, it didn't know what was happening around. It for many times, for many days, it was in the cocoon. The life still was going outside. The winter was getting even more harsh. Everywhere, there were very few people, very few animals and very few insects and birds who were coming out just for food. The sun had gone down a lot and nobody knew, nobody knew what to do. The caterpillar had now turned into a cocoon and it was just resting there. And as the Buddhist proverb says, the winter slowly and slowly changed. The sun came out and it was a beginning of a beautiful spring. With the spring, a lot of trees started blooming. There were new leaves which came out. There was new flowers which turned their fragrance all around. The earth was becoming greener and redder and pinkier and more purple and was filled with lots of flowers and fragrance and beauty all around. The cocoon was still trying to understand what was happening with its life. And one day what happened, while the spring was still going on, the cocoon started bursting. It started bursting and opening itself. And from that cocoon emerged a very beautiful butterfly. It was so beautiful that it had radiant wings. It had beautiful, shining, sparkling wings. And it was just coming out and trying to fly in the sky. The spring was blooming with happiness and the butterfly enjoyed every part of spring. It enjoyed its beauty, its fragrance, its happiness, its radiance and that is all what it was spreading all around. The butterfly was flying everywhere and trying to see and trying to understand that it was not a caterpillar anymore. The caterpillar was weak. But butterfly had wings, it could fly in the air. And the bumblebee actually was very right. The caterpillars never see the winter. Why? 
because all caterpillars transform into beautiful butterflies. And this, our beautiful caterpillar had also transformed into a beautiful butterfly. That is the beauty of spring. And that is the beauty of every human being. The moral of the story is casting off the transient and revealing the true. When we cast off our transient nature, we actually reveal our true identity and that is when we shine the maximum. We shine to our best ability and when we shine to our best ability, we not only bring happiness to our own self, but we bring happiness to everyone who is around us. So be it our parents, our sisters, our brothers, our friends, our relatives or anyone. When we do our best, we bring out the best, we really share the best with the world. So this is a hope-filled story which was based on the Buddhist principle, winter always turns to spring and it is true. The winter of life will definitely turn to spring. The current situation we are in will definitely transform. It will transform to our best. Thank you so much for listening to my story. I would also show you a beautiful aspect of the story which is called as my work of a Zentangle story. It is the entire story done in one paper. Just in one paper, we get to know the entire story. So what is the story? Winter always turns to spring, right? And this side, because it's winter, it's bluey. There are snowflakes all around. This is a beautiful innocent caterpillar. He was feeding on the autumn leaves. This is our chatterbox bumblebee. And then what happened? It came on a bare tree. The tree had given off all its fruits and flowers and leaves and it had turned bare because of winter. And the cocoon was lying on the winter, on the tree, winter tree. And then it, the sun came out. The season changed to spring. There were beautiful flowers and leaves all around. And from it emerged a beautiful butterfly. So this was our story. And here's a moral of our story. Casting off the transient and revealing the truth. This is actually what we want to do. We want to pen down a beautifully illustrated one page story. The story which touches our heart, the paper which makes our life beautiful. And when we see this paper, we can actually understand the whole story in one paper, in one background. And we also emerge out the beauty inside us on one paper, right? So this actually, this art form is called as uh, Zentangle. I will be speaking more about it in my other videos. But for now... I would like to all of you to find out what is your true nature. What is that one true potential which you would like to bring out in your own self and live a beautiful life. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.